and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we are doing this look at the request of one of you guys. Jess said she wanted to see something Lisa Frank inspired um, when we did our cheetah print eyeliner tutorial which I posted last week and so here you go Jess, it's all for you. We have our trusty fluffy brush, the Juvia's Place Zulu palette which you guys know obsessed with. And then of course we have the Melt Cosmetics Radioactive Stack because y'all know I just love it. The first thing that we're going to do is pick up this blush brush which I actually just used to powder. We will ignore that. So the first thing that we're going to do is pick up this orange shade from the Zulu palette. Look at that. Look at her. She's so loved. So we're going to take this orange and we are going to probably start her right here. By probably I mean we are. I'm leaving the very center of the nose a little bit more open because I do know that I am going to have that yellow shade in there later and I want it to be bright. Probably should have used a smaller brush for this uh, section because it's a bunch of curves. Strong and wrong is how I like to do. We're gonna hit all the areas that we would like normally do bronzer, which is gonna be in the shape of a three. So we're going to hit our beautiful little temple over here. We're going to sweep this color inwards a little bit, probably going a little bit further in than we traditionally would with bronzer because we're Lisa Frank Leopard and not just a bronzed goddess. So I know all of you guys are going to be recreating this look in particular um, for your Zoom classes. How are we how are we feeling about that? Are we excited? There was no like real given structure when they shut everything down last time. I was actually in charge of my little brother who is 10. I did his homeschool and I made a schedule because otherwise uh, we would have literally been at each other's throats just because like I had him from 8 a.m. until 5. Look at that, she's so pretty, nice and uneven, but we will either fix it or leave it because we don't care. I mean, I care a little bit. I think it's real cool that we have a schedule now. I'm using this brush because it's still nice and like ploofy, but it's a little bit more concentrated, so I can pick up the next shade, which is gonna be the pink in the Zulu palette, and we are going to be concentrating that just in like a few areas. So I'm gonna be hitting um, the tops of our cheeks, kind of like we're doing like a highlighter blush kind of situation. I'm leaving this portion blank because eventually it will just be white. I do have a full tutorial on using this palette for something more wearable. If you guys are into that, I don't know, maybe you clicked on this video because you wanted to like take a walk down memory lane. Maybe you clicked on this video because, because I said back to school and you're like, maybe she will tell me something actually useful. I'm sorry if so. Um, what kind of makeup tutorials would actually be beneficial to you guys at this point? I've been playing with a lot of like graphic eyeliner, so I have a couple of videos on here about that. What would actually be useful? I could do a video showing you how to paint eyeballs on your eyelids so that, you know, if you fall asleep on your Zoom meeting, your teacher can't tell. Does that make me a terrible influence? Absolutely. Still might be fun though. But I don't want to be accused of disrupting anybody's kind of like education, okay? So like, even though that sounds funny, don't do it. I know I look a little tragic right now, but I promise it's all gonna come together, okay? I'm picking up that yellow shade. Yeah, I really should have blocked out those brows. But you know what? Um, strong and wrong, I will find a way to somewhat kind of maybe hide them. This is like real cute. I don't know what you guys were planning on wearing this year to school, but this is the mood, this is the vibe. This is this is what you gotta be doing. So we're gonna try this with actual paint. Think I will switch to a cream around like the eye area. So I'm picking up a brush. This is the one that I used for, um, I used it for the Hermione Cat tutorial for those of you guys who have seen that. The Easter Bunny tutorial, it's nice and like floofy so it kinda like helps you create like the illusion of fur. It kinda tickles. I think what we learned in quarantine is that it can be real, real hard um, to work in the same place that you live. Like I one time I read an article talking about like how if you do work from home, you need to have a separate workspace from, you know, your actual living space because otherwise you will just never feel like you were fully able to either relax or work. But back when I had my YouTube stuff all in the same room, that I slept in, it would be awful because I'd be trying to relax, sitting on my bed, looking at my filming equipment and being like, 
I should do that. I was in desperate need of more coffee. What else is new? So I did find that having like a different space for different purposes was really helpful to me and I highly recommend that you do something similar. I would suggest not doing your schoolwork in your room or even if you're just like working from home in general, I don't think it's wise to have that same space be your relax and your workspace. I just, I think it's like detrimental to your overall mental health. I hope that makes sense and I hope that that's like a useful tip because that is something that took me so long to learn. I think I want a hint of purple in this. I'm going to pick up some of this purple and I'm going to hit right here in the outer skirts of that pink. Also going to hit a little bit of that purple right here in that same pink up here because we got a theme going on. A nice like pretty gradient. Probably should have taken out this nose ring but it's so hard to get back in for me. Look how white my little jowl is. That's as good as that's going to get. Anyways, we're gonna go in with a black liquid liner and we are going to turn our little eyeballs into kitty eyeballs. So now we're gonna be picking up a black body paint and we are going to be detailing all this mess. I think I just flicked some of that paint water into my coffee. Yes. We're gonna do some line work and then we'll probably just do the same like the same kind of like squiggle spots that this fella here has. I'm gonna wait and do the bigger dots later. First, I'm gonna take care of all of like the little details, which there seem to be quite a bit of. What I do like about this style is that it's a lot of dots. And you guys know, if you've been here before, I love dots with my whole entire heart. I think that they are beautiful. It looks like there are some teeny tiny little like sketch marks here at the very edge of the white under the eyes. And now we're trying to emulate almost a bit of a pattern. Um, I'm not gonna try to make these too terribly precise because even in the reference picture, they're not the most precise. But what I like about it is that they're kind of like jumbled, jagged, splotchy kind of outlines. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was super duper fun to make for you and it'll be super duper fun to scrub off my body in the shower now. Drop a comment down below letting me know anything else that you guys would love to see and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you can join us every time I post a new video which is twice a week. Monday, Friday, usually around 1 p.m. Sometimes it's a little late. I love you guys a whole heck of a lot. I hope you have a very fun, safe, healthy day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Call me Amy Winehouse. Several cups of coffee in. There's so much dancing in this video and we're not even like covered yet. Ah! <sighs> Every time. Ugh. Stay serious for the rest of the Wham bam, thank you ma'am. Call me Goldilocks. You can call me a lot of things in this video actually. I'm not. I'm gonna pause. <laughs>